Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm heading to London to do my biometrics for my Canadian visa. So anyone who's done the Canadian visa or wants to go work in Canada, you know the process is long, drawn out, annoying, pain in the ass, but I'm hoping it's gonna be worth it. Because everyone I've spoken to says going to Canada, working in Canada, exploring Canada is incredible and actually just aligns exactly with what I wanna do. I've got a friend giving me a lift from where I live in Stratford all the way to London and then from London I'm gonna make my own way to do my biometrics. So come with me and let's go get my Canadian visa. Just coming up on the embassy, embassy visa application center. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. It's a bloody faff though, but this is the start of a new journey, new adventure, something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I want to bring you along. Hope you enjoyed the journey, not much driving. A little bit of the tube, a little bit here and there, but it's weird being back in London, for sure. I have like a, a love-hate relationship. The hair's everywhere, a love-hate relationship with London. For many reasons, when I lived here, and when I visited here for certain people and things, so it's weird being back. Um, times where I'm a bit panicky, a bit anxious, but times where it's like, oh, you know, I do love, do love it at the same time. So no, it's a weird one. It's a very strange one. All right, done. That's my biometric done. Huge fat, but just gonna show you. I don't know if you can see it. That little box there. There's so many people that are obviously coming to do not just a Canadian visa, but their actual visa for their multiple different country visas you can do there who just forget to do their passport photos or they need a new passport photo so that little box looks so unprofessional but it's rammed with people just trying to get new passport photos they they go into the embassy or the application center they come out and they queue for photos and they charge a fortune it's quite funny to be honest but that's the first stage second stage you can take the first stage of getting my canadian visa application which is feels cool it's actually moving in the right direction there's many times where I write things down and don't actually ever do anything so to actually have started the process and done it and actually gone somewhere to do it is incredible but it is a bloody fact they do not make it easy whatsoever like I filled out form after form after form downloaded different software on my laptop like different adobes to sign forms and send forms away different emails different places and then even then I've got so many forms printed out that I'm in there, I'm handing her different forms, You're like, no, this one, this one, this one. It's like, oh my God, but it's done. And I thought, why not show you this is the start of a journey? Thinking of going to Canada, you know, maybe after their winter. There's so much I want to do. I need to write it all down. I know I just said I'd write it all down, but there's so much I want to do. But I need to write it down and actually sort of go and do it, go and enjoy it. But saying that, you know, I do want to travel a bit more. I have a very special trip that i booked not even a special trip just a trip i booked got out of my comfort zone took in a leave of faith and i booked a trip in november to go away i'm not gonna tell you where it is at the moment i'm gonna wait till the video comes out wait to show you guys wait till i'm there and show you where i'm going and the way i chose this place because it wasn't as if i just oh let's just go there i had to put five different cities in europe into a, a spinny wheel as you know how they work and chose it like that because i wasn't going to go otherwise and I'd be lying to you if I wasn't scared. Of, like I said before, scared to get lonely, not scared of going away, scared of being lonely and it's not gonna be what I expect. But I know if I don't try, don't go, just like with this, I'll never know. So I'll explain a bit more my love-hate relationship later with London, I think, a little bit more why, but also why I love it as well, why I hate it, why I love it, multiple things. But I'm in Moorgate now and I need to get back to go see my friend who brought me here, Bella and Will Buckley, just given his surname, and just go see my friend Will, um, who lives in Clapham. So I think it's like five miles, but haven't been to the gym today. Didn't go to the gym yesterday. So I decided, why not get a line bike? Let's see if I can go on a line bike, see if it, how much it costs me. And just see a bit of London. I love exploring cities above ground. The tubes are all good and stuff in every city you go to, but exploring above ground, you see so much more, so much of the architecture, all sorts and different things. So hopefully the weather stays clear. 
and I'll see you on my bike ride. So I don't know if you can hear me very well, but I don't know line bikes, they're electric. So I've got this, this electric bike and it's so easy to drive. Drive to cycle. I thought I was going to get some exercise in, but obviously not. But this is what I love, like just cycling across buildings like this. Looking at it, I could live in London like this because this is enjoyable. But I can't believe it's electric. I'm just, look how fast I'm going. Vroom, vroom. So if you go right onto Smithfield Street, I know exactly where I am. I've been here a lot of times. I know exactly where I am. I know this is quality. Woohoo, baby! Country music on and black ride right now. Country music on, cycling like through London. What more could you want? story I actually back in like six years ago my friend John and I came to London on our own went to see a Khalid concert my one and only ever concert and we stayed here for like three days and stayed across here across from Blackfriars over the, that bridge there over here had food one of the nights we we're supposed to go to watch the Miserables but we met his brother in this place which is my favorite place in London now called the Piano Works or Piano Bar and it was never drank so much missed the miserables but was so worth it we'll do it again a hundred times every time i come to london now i always go to kind of work my favorite place that's the exact hotel we stayed in i look back at now a bit weird but hey ho part of life <laughs> won't believe it but i found the notre dame if i was in london I hate myself, I'm so sorry about that. I actually sincerely apologise. Please take my formal apology now. Thank you. sunshine seems weird but I got wheels I'm getting soaked Ooh. it's really starting to rain now I'm getting drenched it's not worth it at all get the tube get an uber i'm joking i love it the way that she dances ain't afraid to take chances away the heart on her sleeve she's crazy But no, so no, I don't. Okay, now, man. A little less noise now, and you can hear me with the mic. Doors are closing. But I was going to talk about my love hate relationship with London, and briefly, is I lived in London for a year when I was 18 to 19, pretty much, and I hated it. Just mental health. I write about my blog, Canada with Cancer, that you can read below. Really enjoy it. Put a really bad light on London. Hated it. But then. Never want to go back to London. Visited a few times with friends and I enjoyed it, but then still a little bit like never want to be here. And then 
Well, let's just say this, not that this should be a thing, but um, just met this person when I was in Dublin, who was living in London and was coming to London and had the best time possible in London with this person and just made me love London again, made me want to be in London, made me want to, not because of London itself, but made me realise that, I'll wait for the noise, made me realise that it's not about the place you're at, it's actually about the person you're with that, and that's what makes life, that's what makes what it is. It's not about being where you are, anywhere can be great or crap, but it's about the people you spend that time with, the people you are with, who make it worth it, and then you can turn a, sh not shit, because I can't swear, but a good situation into, a bad situation into a good situation. realize that actually it's not about where you are it's about who you're with and you can do that in any situation so i ended up from january this year 2023 to april and even further like loving london but then coming back to london today That's my love-hate relationship with London, and that's what makes it tough. But this has been really tough for me. Um, really, really tough coming back to London. Um, I sort of like don't really have the words to explain it. It's just like a feeling. Um, it's just I made so many memories here with someone so special that. That I really, really, so that I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with, in a sense, um, as naive as that may sound, and I may think I'm young because I'm only 24, but but with my life experience and, and what I know, someone that I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with, so to sort of walk the exact route and, and to do exactly the same thing that I did with, with this, this, this person for such a long time that meant so special to me, um, I don't know, I, 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 you may think I'm being silly. Um, and I may, I may be being silly. I may be being naive and young. But no, this really hurts. This, this really hurts. And like, I'm sort of, I don't really know how to describe it. I, I think that's the way, the way it is. It just hurts. It's a lot of pain. And it's something that, it's something that I didn't, never thought I'd be doing alone. And I'm sort of butchering these words right now, but I think it's important that and the way I'm feeling isn't unnatural the way I'm feeling is is normal and the way I'm feeling and I like to think the way I'm feeling isn't just me I think there's other people out there who who would also say that they've they've created memories they it's association I'm really bad at associating with places with things that are good or bad and it really hurts when that thing is no longer more so I really struggle going to Birmingham because of my cancer and because of I get really bad anxiety, crippling anxiety, and I really struggle when it brings back everything back. And I think it's the same here. It's I've got so many good memories with good people here in with, with good people with one person in particular in London and this exact route from Victoria Line to Bakerloo Line. Seeing this person and being in London that I used to hate and now that I, I really loved it, that to come back here and know that I'm doing it on my own and that they're not in my life anymore is really, really difficult. It really is a struggle. And it's something that I never thought I'd do without them, or at least without them in my life. And I think for me, it's just saying that like, if you feel this, if you feel this way, 
um, that I'm not perfect, that if you feel this way with a certain person or a certain area in the world, a place that's special to you, that you're not alone, that I'm feeling this way too. And I'm feeling this way and it hurts a lot. It really hurts. I'm like, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna cry. I'm probably gonna cry on the train. Um, I'm ready to tear up. I feel empty inside. I think that's the way to put it. I feel really empty inside. I feel all the memories come flushing back and it's horrible. Um, and I like to say it's not because I'm naive and in love and, and, and that's the thing. I think it's, there's so much to it. Everything's so unique. I think so different for everyone. Um, but yeah, this is really difficult. And I just want this to be honest with you guys, to be true, because that's what this is all about. That's what my channel is all about. About showing the truth of who I am. And that, yeah, cool, this is gonna be a positive channel. I'm positive that I am, but actually like, you know what, I still struggle. And this, this is, this is one of my big struggles right now. And like, I've got an hour and a half train journey home on a, a journey where I'd usually be messaging this person and smiling and be happy that actually, I can't measure them, can't talk to them. And I'm gonna be very sad and upset. And I've been struggling with it a lot for the past three months, two months, three months. I just thought I wanted to let you know. But hey, I'm here in Marlebone now, Marlebone Station. And I generally, <laughs> maybe I'll film it, I don't know. I generally think I'm gonna probably cry a little bit, but hey ho, that's life. Life isn't always easy, life is hard. Life is, is full of ups and downs and I think I've got to try and remember the good times I had with this person and the good times that the memories bring rather than get upset about it. But when I think about the good times, that's when I get upset. But hey, not much I can do. Um, maybe I should have come home sooner. Maybe I should have done stuff that eat. I just, there's no right or wrong. I've got my snacks on the train. It's a late one. It's already 11 o'clock, tired. And I had only a small amount to drink. Don't really just drink, but I was with some friends. No. Got my water bottle. I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys, if you can see. Caramel nibbles, two for a fiver. Bloody expensive, but it's still two for a fiver. So I had to get two packets. And I promise you on my life, I will be devouring the train. I really, really am struggling. The past week's been really hard with, I think, imposter syndrome, with what I'm trying to do in my life. I had to come to London, because I had to come do my biometrics, and I showed you, and I really wanted to do that, and it is another to-do list. It's another tick on the list to be like, yeah, done that now. Done my biometrics, I want to go to Canada but it's really tough coming to London and, and that's why I got a lift from my friend here but to come to the station again to the exact same route and I think being dark doesn't help being cold and I think it really is getting to me a lot and it's difficult because I remember the good times that's what it is it's not because it's the bad times it's because I remember the good times and and now the good times have gone it is, it's difficult to differentiate and sort of just one of those good times again um, but that's life for you that's life and that's love for you but it's difficult, it's hard. But I want to be honest, like I'm with everything, be honest with you, be clear with, with everything. But platform number three just come up at Marlebo Station, so I'm going to go get on my train now, find a seat, pick out, and maybe I'll talk to you a little bit more. If not, this is the end of the video, and I'll see you guys all soon. Hope you enjoyed me getting my biometrics, and a little London vlog, I'll say it's a little London vlog.